in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Lord, send forth your Spirit, and you will renew the face of the earth. O God, who instructs the hearts of your faithful, with the light of your Holy Spirit, make us responsive to his inspirations so that we may be truly wise and even rejoice in his consolations. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Day 31. Blessed Mother Teresa Three words summarize what we learned from Blessed Mother Teresa. The first, thirst. The second, heart. And the third, covenant. Let's ponder each one in turn. The first one is thirst. Our Lady was the first person to hear Jesus cry, I thirst with St. John, and, I'm sure, Mary Magdalene. Because Our Lady was there on Calvary, she knows how real, how deep is His longing for you and for the poor. But do we know? Do we feel as she? Ask her to teach. Her role is to bring you face to face as John and Magdalene, with the love in the heart of Jesus crucified. Before it was Our Lady pleading with Mother, now it is Mother in her name pleading with you. Listen to Jesus' thirst. Let us try in a special way to come as close as the human heart can come to the heart of Jesus and try to understand as much as possible, Jesus' terrible pain caused to him by our sins and his thirst for our love. Thank God Our Lady was there to understand fully the thirst of Jesus for love. She must have straight away said, I satiate your thirst with my love and the suffering of my heart. So let us ask Our Lady to help us understand. The second one is heart. A key to Mother Teresa's understanding of consecration is heart, specifically the Immaculate Heart. Recall her two prayers to Mary, Lend me your heart and keep me in your most pure heart. Also recall the importance of our imitating Mary's pondering heart. Let's start with the two prayers and then review Mary's heart-pondering attitude. Lend me your heart. By this prayer, Mother Teresa was asking Our Lady to give her the love of her heart. In other words, she says, Mary, help me to love with the perfect love of your immaculate heart. Remember, Mother Teresa's passionate desire was to satiate the thirst of Jesus for love and she wanted to do this in the best possible way. What better way to love Jesus than with the perfect, humble, immaculate heart of his mother? Here, Mother Teresa found the secret to living out her vocation to the full. 
Mary, lend me your immaculate heart. Keep me in your most pure heart. Or stated more fully, one prays, Immaculate heart of Mary, keep me in your most pure heart, so that I may please Jesus through you, in you, and with you. This part of Mother Teresa's consecration to Mary is the most profound. She is not just asking for Mary's heart to be in her, but for her to be in Mary's heart. So this is a prayer to love Jesus through Mary, in Mary, and with Mary. This is something more than simply having Mary lend us her heart. To understand this and live it requires a loving dependence and profound union with Mary. This is expressed more fully in the next section that is covenant. Pondering Heart Mother Teresa developed an attitude of gratitude by following the example of Mary who was always pondering in her heart the good things that God was doing in her life. Specifically, Mother Teresa followed this example through her fidelity to the examination of conscience. In other words, at the end of each day, she would ponder in her heart all the good things God has done for her that day and would reflect on how she was or was not fully responding to his love. The third is covenant. Moved by an ardent desire to live in the closest union with you, Mary, possible in this life, so as to more surely and fully arrive at union with your Son. I hereby pledge to live the Spirit and terms of the following covenant of consecration as faithfully and generously as I am able. Mary's duties are to give of her spirit and heart, to possess, protect and transform me, to inspire, guide and enlighten me, to share her experience of prayer and praise, responsibility for my sanctification, responsibility for all that befalls me, to share with me her virtues, to provide for my spiritual and material needs. And my duties are total gift of all I have and am, total dependence on her, responsiveness to her spirit, faithfulness to prayer, trust in her intercession, accept all as coming from her, imitate her spirit, constant recourse to her, union with her heart, to purify me and my actions, right to dispose of me of my prayers and intercessions and graces. Total freedom in and around me as she pleases in all things. Remembrance of her presence. Purity of intention. Self-denial. Right to avail myself of her and her energies for the sake of the kingdom. Right to enter into her heart to share her interior life. Today's Prayer Spend the day pondering Teresa's Marian teaching as it is summarized by these three words, thirst, heart, and covenant. Let us now pray the litany. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, 
have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Amiable, pray for us. Mother Most Admirable, pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Redeemer, pray for us. Virgin Most Prudent, pray for us. Virgin Most Venerable, pray for us. Virgin Most Renowned, pray for us. Virgin Most Powerful, pray for us. Virgin Most Merciful, pray for us. Virgin Most Faithful, pray for us. Mirror of Justice, pray for us. Seat of Wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our Joy, pray for us. Spiritual Vessel, pray for us. Vessel of Honor, pray for us. Singular Vessel of Devotion, pray for us. Mystical Rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of Ivory, pray for us. House of Gold, pray for us. Ark of the Covenant, pray for us. Gate of Heaven, pray for us. Morning Star, pray for us. Health of the Sick, pray for us. Refuge of Sinners, Pray for us. Comforter of the afflicted. Pray for us. Help of Christians. Pray for us. Queen of Angels. Pray for us. Queen of Patriarchs. Pray for us. Queen of Prophets. Pray for us. Queen of Apostles. Pray for us. Queen of Martyrs. Pray for us. Queen of Confessors, pray for us. Queen of Virgins, pray for us. Queen of All Saints, pray for us. Queen Conceived Without Original Sin, pray for us. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Queen of the Family, pray for us. Queen of Peace, Pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech you, O Lord God, that we, your servants, may enjoy lasting health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, ever Virgin, be delivered from present sorrow and enter into the joy of eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen.